Today's video is about CBD, cannabis, marijuana, and kidney disease. The benefits, the bad things, things you should avoid, if you should consume it, how are you going to consume it? We're going to break it all down today on this hot topic going around because, uh, because of the legalization going a lot of states with recreational marijuana. And so I combed through the National Library of Medicine, uh, went through everything I could find on cannabis, cannabinoids, and kidney disease. Uh, quite a bit of research, but we're still learning so much more and a lot we don't know. But to give you some citations, we've got the Canada Journal of Kidney Health in 2019, February, a review of cannabis and chronic kidney disease. Current Opinions in Nephrology and Hypertension Journal, March 2020, The Nephrologist's Guide to Cannabis and Cannabinoids. We even have a transplant uh, study on cannabis effects before, uh, during, and after when it comes to kidney transplants. So let's break it all down quickly. What is cannabis? Cannabis with the uh, name marijuana, what commonly known as, was an illicit drug up until recently, which because of the THC content, produces a, a, an effect, a high effect, a psychedelic effect, which is what mostly used for. Now, cannabis is a plant, it grows, you harvest it, you get the buds and flower, and that's where that THC is. And we also discovered that there's something called cannabinoids in cannabis, CBD for short, which is over the counter. It doesn't have the THC in it. And that's where a lot of research is. We have a endocannabinoid system in the body, which, um, is receptors that respond to the cannabinoids. And so what do we know? Okay, so a lot of stuff. First of all, smoking marijuana, okay? Smoking cannabis, it's not good for you because it's shown to have uh, cardiovascular events in people with um, kidney disease, uh, pulmonary, uh, meaning lung, okay? Lung issues, okay? People had more uh, respiratory problems, so you don't wanna smoke it, okay? Uh, if you have kidney disease, make sure your doctor knows, make sure you know what you're doing because you want to be monitored and you want to get it uh, like a regulated. The problem that they mention in a lot of studies is that CBD, uh, cannabis, a lot of it's not regulated. You're, you're buying it um, off the street or if you're getting CBD products, a lot of these companies aren't regulated. So you want to get a quality product. There are a lot. Um, there's a lot of good quality products. I'm not going to get into each one, but there are out there. So. Some of the bad stuff I told you about when you smoke it, um, we still don't know everything about the effects in kidney disease because we're still studying it. But in healthy individuals, they mentioned that there's no problem. Uh, there's no uh, negative interaction with the kidney when it comes to cannabis. Uh, the main benefit, okay, the main thing that we found that it helps about, uh, helps reduce pain in people with chronic kidney disease up to 30%. That's the number one benefit, the number one study. Everything else, we don't have any research to show it works. When I say research, meaning uh, we have nothing showing a positive effect with, I take CBD and I got better kidney function. I took CBD uh, and my blood pressure went down. Maybe if you take CBD and your blood pressure is because of stress, uh, then you know if you're less stressed, you could lower your blood pressure. But CBD, improving kidney function, reversing kidney damage, anything along those lines, it's not going to do it, or at least we don't have research showing that. And they do, they do look at that. They look at the function because they're looking to see if cannabis and CBD had a negative effect. All right. It didn't look like it as we know, but we don't know enough about kidney transplants. Uh, I mean, sorry, kidney disease. Now, kidney transplants, uh, marijuana use, cannabis, uh, before, after, um, show more cardiovascular problems, lung problems. So you really don't want to smoke it. Also psychiatric problems. And that's also in the general population where more cannabis use increases psychiatric issues like depression, anxiety, schizophrenia. Uh, and they found that um, also within the kidney transplant. So um, now the main thing, if you're going to do cannabis, you don't want to have it with the THC. So you want to do CBD products. Okay, CBD. Therapeutic doses generally go around 150 milligrams. You can always start with 50, work your way up, um, but generally you gotta be in that 150 milligram area, 150, 200 milligrams to get those pain reduction benefits when you have kidney issues. Uh, I think that's everything I covered. Let me take a look here at my list, just make sure. And if I missed anything, if you're unsure of it, uh, drop me a line, make sure to leave a comment. We always get back to comments within a few days. 
uh, vaporizers. Okay, that's the other thing. Vaporizers and edibles. So the vaporizer was preferred over smoking. With other studies, it's shown that you get less toxins. Um, edibles is also a preferred way. So you can make uh, cannabis butter, cannabis oils, do edibles. You get CBD edibles, which is preferred because uh, when you're using the whole plant, you're going to get that THC, which could give you some of those negative effects uh, that we talked about there. So I think I covered everything. If anything I missed, anything you want to know, just drop a line in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe, like our video, dislike it, and say why, what maybe were you looking for. But to your best kidney health, check out our channel, hundreds of, of videos, tons of videos on how to help your kidney health. Best wishes, everybody. Bye.